Hello and welcome to another video. I have today made a quick one about some stars and signs versus lines. What that means is if you see a star symbol, for instance, and it might have a meaning in like Eastern palmistry and then versus the meaning that might be in Western palmistry from just the lines without looking at the symbol. And I've got this uh, pretty unique hand picture, which I will bring up nice and close. So hopefully you can see it and I will draw on it anyway. And let's see, uh, pen, let's go red. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about, we'll go to the stars. I'm just gonna mention two different stars. First, I will mention the regular star, which is when there is many lines that cross, as you can see, right there on the Mount of Apollo under the ring finger. That is like an explosion. It looks like fireworks have gone off. And traditionally, that is a sign of, I'll show you, I've got all those um, stars and information in my book, Destiny Palmistry 2, all the lines that's available on Amazon and from my website. So what's what I've got inside? A star on the Apollo. A mark of fame, wealth, and social attainment, but person may have to work hard and take risks. General happiness can be affected if the person doesn't stay grounded. So this can be a proper mark of fame from um, artistic adventure, someone who's acting, singing, dancing, what, whatever kind of an artist person. Got to be careful though. Um, Fame is not always good. I've seen this mark on famous criminals as well. So um, assuming this hand, the person is not a criminal, it's a good sign. And she also has a star over here on the Mount of um, Jupiter. Like it's basically on the Mars. It is, she's got a big Mount of Jupiter, so it's on the Mount of Jupiter. And here um, in my book, again, I describe a sudden rise in fortune and achievement of an ambition, a symbol of honor or influence and a promising mark for being destined for good things. So even if you have to wait for those good things to come, you're not born with those. So those are your uh, standard type stars, um, just based on um, a reading of a star. And the second type of star sign is what she appears to have here is called a pentagram, pentacle, pentagram. So she has, I don't know if you can see, but I'll draw it, line up there line down there it's a little bit uh, crooked she's got line there it's kind of a line there line there line there so it looks like a pentagram star at the end of sort of at the end of her headline between the heart line and the headline so if you don't know that's the heart line and that's the headline so here we have a, another symbol that to some people it, it might have a specific meaning. I don't personally read um, symbols as such, but just for the purpose of this video, um, if the, the star pentagram is pointing up, which this one is, that's the pointing up. There's only one, because uh, this down the bottom, there's not one. There's not one here, right? So it's pointing up, that's how you tell. Can I rub that out? There we go. So the pentagram is um, traditionally a symbol of faith. Many 
kind of religions have taken it on. So this symbol of faith um, with the point up represents a spirit above matter, meaning spiritual life is better than things in life. So that might be a good uh, a good luck sign or just um, a feeling of uh, spirituality there. So in case you're wondering what these um, stars um, points refer to or what they represent, the uh, the top one here represents the the spirit. Then we have air. Then we have earth. Then we have water, and then we have fire. So the star represents all of those elements. Of course, if you go to eastern palmistry, it's a little bit different. They they use like metal um, in, and wood instead of uh, spirit and I think uh, earth. So that's okay. Uh, so they generally um, doesn't have any other meaning. So I'm going to grab, I was going to, I'm going to grab the rubber and rub this out because the other symbol I'm going to quickly show you is the, the fish sign. So I'll rub that out because she has a fish, sort of a fish sign based on this photo anyway, whether, it, whether she has it um, when you're looking at it by hand, I'm not sure. But anyway, here she has what looks like at the end of her, or oh, made up from the lines of the headline. It's a fish, it's got a tail. And it's even got, it's even probably got the, um, the fin up the top, maybe even a fin down the bottom. So the fish symbol is supposed to be an auspicious sign, like somebody who will have luck in their life. And if it's pointing to the side, like this one is, it's meant to show uh, on a good luck for the whole of their life. If the fish is pointing downwards, it's um, after the age of 50 is a better life. If the point fish is pointing upwards, it's the before the age of 50. So the sideways fish is supposed to be good luck all the time. Whether you believe those symbols or not, um, like I said, I don't normally read them. So let's go and describe these lines as not symbols. So first of all, not looking at stars or fish, we're looking at the same hand again. And here we have what is the girdle of Venus and it's quite shattered. So it shows somebody who is highly strung. They may be uh, like may have a nervous uh, nervousness about them or, or sensitivity about them or lots of lots of things going on in the mind. They may be emotional or very empathetic or uh, just basically whatever character they have the girdle of Venus strengthens those qualities. And usually it just shows somebody um, more em empathic. So part of that so-called star was made up from the girdle of Venus. Then she has success lines. She has a double success lines that rise from around the age of 50. She's also got the success line that runs down here. But those two success lines make up some of that star as well. Oh, I'm making something's clicking on my computer. Okay, so the other lines that make up this star, we have these influence lines that rise from around the heart. These influence lines could be reflecting an idea or a passion that she has these ideas or heartfelt projects come together 
they're joining the success line. So they are what make up the potential success in uh, and around uh, looking at the timing. If we're timing the success line, we're looking, you know, after the age of 50 for this uh, project or fame or success to eventuate. But because there are so many like interference lines as well, as uh, yes, so the person will have to be, be careful with um, not getting carried away, just being more, being grounded, like literally practice grounding um, mental, mentally, etc. And okay, so the next mark, we will talk about the lines that made up the, the pentagram. So part of that was the success line. Part of that was an influence line that comes, which I could draw straight. Uh, we have another influence line that comes up to the success line. So that could be uh, help from the outside, somebody, a person who influences the success or an idea that influences the success. So something that comes in to affect this person's um, not necessarily career, but it can be career, it can be the project. So there's an influence line. That was one of the lines that made up one of the uh, pentagrams. And then she has this split in her headline, which has branches that rise up here. And that makes up some of that pentagram. And she has like a second headline. She's got lots going on here. It's like a second headline floating there. And here is the one that there's a fork in the headline. And then she has these uh, health lines. These health lines climb up there. And they make up some of that star as well. So as you can see, it's just a coincidental mix of lines that make up the star. And one more, I'll show you, I'll probably already show you some of it. Well, the fish, the so-called fish is actually parts of the headline. So like I said before, she has a headline that forks, then it forks again. So she's got a double fork. She has a, a second headline and goes slightly above the main headline, the main headline, and she has branches rising. So these can be ideas, positive influences, seeking something. There's another branch here. So it looks like a fish, but it's actually a combination of double forked headline with rising branch lines that are seeking lines. So whether she's seeking a better life, seeking spirituality or seeking something in her life. And these are these searching lines that are just rising from there. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that quick video and I look forward to do doing more. Don't forget, go and check out um, Destiny Palmistry 2, all the lines. What's good about this one is lots of color, lots of color pictures. And if you want to just don't go straight into the complete guide, that one doesn't have color pictures, but it's uh, got a nice index at the back. You can look up anything you like in the index and uh, find it in there or uh, check them out. I'll put the links under this video, but you can also just um, check them out on Amazon. Thanks very much. I'll see you later. Bye.